Ah, Wall Street. You could hear the money. You could smell the... Oh, smell the money when you come to Wall Street. Ah, Wall Street. Look, look. All the rich people. It's Goldman Sachs. Ah, Goldman Sachs building. What am I doing down on Wall Street? I don't know. Just walking around today. Soaking in the vibe. Crony capitalism. That's what I want to talk about today. I think that I keep saying know thy enemy. You know, and um, and there's a lot of people in this in this life, in this business, in this economic world that know a whole lot more about economics than I do. But I know one thing for sure. I know one thing for sure. Crony capitalism and the one the one percent of the population that is controlling so much wealth, corporate tyranny is the root of the problem. There is no other problem. It's, 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 it's at the end of the cycle. The old, the, 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 the collapse, look. Look, this is Goldman Sachs building, look at this thing. Lloyd Blankfein is probably up on the top floor right there, see? Say hello to Lloyd Blankfein, Lloyd Blankfein. Uh, worth like $32 billion. Right? They got all their tax cuts, right? <laughs> Fucking, it's gonna trickle down, right? It's all gonna trickle down. Right? The collapse, it's coming. What the hell is Conti talking about? Socialist! All good things come to an end. Right? Capitalism was a good idea. It's not to say that democracy doesn't work, but capitalism was a good idea. And now it's failing. It's, it's, it's corroding. The income and wealth inequality is the greatest it's been in a hundred years. We have to keep telling people about this. People have to re wake up to this, this notion of insane income and wealth inequality, that it is, it is, it is unsustainable. It's now in the level of you know, the kings where they had so much wealth and so much power and then they gave themselves a 40% tax break to boot. <laughs> uh, this is Wall Street. This is where, I mean, there is no, there is no centralized Wall Street anymore, but this is, theoretically, that's a, uh, that big silver building, that's the Prudential building. When Prudential used to be a player. There's a lot of bucket shops around here too. A lot of these... Uh... New York Stock Exchange is right up the block. I'm not going to walk over there. I'm just walking I'm walking to, uh, to the train. Anyway, it's a little tour of Wall Street. When does the, when does the collapse happen? What's it going to look like when it happens? Huh? Mainstream media is talking about hookers and porn stars and 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 I eat sarge fucker, right? But they're not talking about the problem, which is income and wealth inequality and unsustainable, unsustainable crony capitalism, right? Corporate tyranny, corporate control, right? But there is no more, I don't know, just a little stream of thought today. I come down here to Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Remember Occupy? Zuccotti Park is it's a couple of blocks that way. I'm not going to go over there either. Just school, just know thy enemy. That's what I want to talk about. That's what I want to drive home for now and forever is we must know thy enemy you are not my enemy right the guy on YouTube saying something a little different than me is not my enemy you are my brothers corporate tyranny corporations that have seized control of our of our, of our government 
of our lives. And I'm dragging us all down. Right? Someone said to me, he said, well, what do you, what do you, what happens, you know, what are you going to do? You tax the corporations 80%, what happens? You say, yeah, they'll all leave. It's like, good, let the door, let the door hit them in the ass on the way out. Who needs them, right? Let, let small business flourish again. My name is Marcus Conti. Nothing really important to say today other than Know thy enemy. Know thy enemy. Corporate greed. Peace out.